Hi, this is Makeup Dr. Shree. Thank you for joining me for another episode of Devotional Diva, where I just come to talk about my spiritual journey and then also um, give a Bible verse every day. And I appreciate you joining me today, whether it's your first time dropping in or your return visitor. Thank you so much. And um, I'd like to start out with Psalms 19, 14, which says, May these words of my mouth and this meditation of my heart be pleasing in your sight, Lord, my rock, my redeemer. And I say that because to remind myself that it's for the Lord's will I do this and not my own. So I wasn't sure what I was going to talk about today. And all the news allegations and things like that kind of got me a little down about all the stuff that's going around in the world. And um, But then I felt good that people were actually coming out and being believed. And uh, the horrible um, stories of the sexual misconduct is just so sad. But I know it's something that happens or has happened to almost every single adult woman at one point or another in their life. Um, but not just that, it's just that, um, these people did things in secret or that weren't known by the general public, even though some of the things that they were doing were known, um, by people in their, in their, um, circle, but that things done hidden come to life. And it's the first Luke eight seventeen that was brought to mind. Luke eight seventeen reads, for there is nothing hidden that will not be disclosed and nothing concealed that will not be known or brought out into the open. And that made me think, it's just like, ugh. You know, what these people did is horrible, um, but it's being brought to light and they're being held accountable. In some cases, some cases not. Um, but then I also have to think about myself, because, you know, you gotta look at your own issues too. <laughs> and everything that's done in the dark is brought to light. I'm sure I know that there are some things that I would not be proud of my family knowing about that I did. Um, but nothing where I'm uh, abusing anybody else. That's not what I'm talking about. <laughs> this is going off the rails here. But anyways, just to, just to think about when you decide to do something, is this something that you would be ashamed of or that you would be uh, worried that somebody else would know or find out if you have to do it in secret? If it has to be hidden, then it's something you shouldn't be doing. And I'm not judging anybody because I'm saying that I've done stuff that I would not be proud of. That I am not proud of. Um, but that that's something that I want to keep in front of my mind as I go forward as a Christian. And being born again is what I'm doing. Um, thinking about my actions. And not only that they affect me, but they affect the people around me and the people that I love. Um, and that I want to show the love of God through the things I'm doing. And I don't know why I can't get through one of these things without my eyes watering. I'm not crying or upset. It's just my eyes start watering for some reason. So anyways, I hope that made sense. Again, sometimes I feel like I'm just rambling, but um, I just want to share that with you today. Um, that verse was really on my mind. They're like, wow, things that are done in the dark come to light. And I want to remember as a Christian that everything that I do, I want to think, would I be proud of that? You know, and um, just food for thought. Uh, let me know if you have any comments about that. And I'd love to hear from you. Thanks so much for joining me for another episode of Devotional Divas.